What's going on, people? So, there's that quick shot of the side of the box. We can jump right into this thing. The intro to the last one was a little long, but hey, it happens from time to time. Got a lot of stuff to talk about today, so I do want to kind of breeze on through these things, right? So, we'll see how it plays out, though. This right here, this is the ASICS, what is this, Super Blast 2 in bold magenta and pink glow. There's also a little bit of green on the back. Check that out. Pretty nice, right? But they don't talk about that. All right. So this is my first pair of these, right? So I'm going to go into all the things for the most part. So it might run a little long. Hopefully it doesn't, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to start this thing with the bottom though, because that's the thing that I do. Down there, across the bottom, what you're looking at down there, pretty plain outsole, right? Just some blacks and white. But I will tell you this real quick. From what the ASIC site says, they designed the bottom of these after trampolines to give you like that kind of like bounce back sort of thing. I've been on a trampoline, right? I've seen them. Maybe you've seen a trampoline too. This doesn't really like make me think of that, but that's what they said. So I'm going to go with it. Moving on up here, midsole, right? So you kind of see a lot going on there, like as in a lot of midsole going on there, right? Color wise, design wise, not a whole lot happening, right? You can kind of take that all in real quick, real easy. However, there are some details that I'm going to hit you with real quick right about now. So if you were paying attention, that you kind of see there's like the white part, the pink part. It's kind of like those Pegasus 35 turbos over there where there's like two layers to this midsole, right? So this bottom piece, the white piece, that is the Flight Foam Blast Plus, right? So that part, it's kind of down there just kind of for impact absorption, right? And then kind of helps you bounce back, you know, that whole rebound thing. Whereas this upper piece, this big chunk here, the pink chunk here, see that flat foam turbo plus? That's going to be a lot of the foam there, but the thing is it's supposed to have like better compression. So then like when you kind of step out of it, it responds better with each step, right? That's what they say. Again, some of that ASICS magic like they talked about in this video. So there's that. One thing I should have mentioned down here on the bottom. It doesn't say it, there's not any labeling down there, but they do have the the ASICS grip, which is made for, you know, just like traction, right? Just And it's supposed to help with like, you know, the absorption of like a softer landing with each step. So you got that. And then the AHAR, I forget what it stands for, or maybe I never knew, I don't know. But that's basically there for just overall durability through the length of the lifespan of these shoes, right? Because if you're going to be running around on different terrains, that's a thing that could matter. So either way. Now you know what's going on on the bottom piece. So that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the overall upper real quick, right? I'll get you these two other shots in here so you can kind of see that. So not a whole lot really happening with these, right? Because it's, I mean, the stitching is kind of cool. I do like that. But it's mostly just a whole lot of pink, magenta, whatever you want to call it. There are some other colors that had a little bit more going, or little colorways that had a little bit more going on. This one, it's pretty plain, but I do like it. So whatever, let's jump on down in here, right? So starting with this toe box type area, you're probably noticing that it's very open in there as far as the way it's stitched. And that is a very nice feeling. I'll say that later again, but you got that happening around the side, standard knitting going on and whatnot. It's a very lightweight feel overall. That's one thing I should stress is like this whole shoe, you probably look at it and think like it might look a little heavy. But this is probably like the lightest shoe I've ever held in my hands, right? Which is crazy because it's like one of the biggest also. But anyway, so back in here on the side, standard ASICS type things as they often do. You know, you got the stitched in logo going on there. Matching up on the inside, they do have one in there too, right? It's basically going to be the same on both sides, really. And then behind that, you kind of see a little bit more of that open stitching. Lots of airflow going on in these things right here. And then moving back, like I said, you get to the very back, there's that pink, excuse me, there's that green heel tab back there. It says Super Blast 2 on it, right? If you look at it from the sideways angle. So that's what's going on visually speaking. Otherwise, we're going to jump back over here, talk about some laces and all that stuff. You got these standard plain pink laces. They're just flat, nothing special about them, right? And then behind that, though, one thing that is nice for, again, for the breathability on this tongue, You'll see it, you can basically see right through it because it's a very thin layer and it's got a lot of these little pores in there, which is very cool. And then as you skip over to the very top of this thing, on the outside you have ASIC Super Blast, on the inside you have a two. 
and that does have like a nice little bit of padding to it and one thing you may notice in there is that it does have like that rounded top to the tongue so that's nice because like when you're wearing these like your ankle is going to sit right about here obviously and it just hugs it like perfectly right it's super soft so you, you kind of don't even feel that it's there right it's just like a nice little touch that makes these feel that much better when you're wearing them so there is that and now let's jump onto the inside real quick on this one you have the asics logo but on this one you have some other stuff right some words whatever going on in there otherwise it's just going to be plain black and white as you probably noticed so not a whole lot happening with it and then i forget what it said but on the web page it said something about the way they do the dyeing makes it on the on the sock liner there the way they do the dyeing is supposed to be like better for the environment and stuff it's like all right that's kind of how I took that. Like, I'll take your word for it. It's a bunch of weird stuff you're saying here, but go do what you're doing, you know? They do seem to be a very environmentally friendly group, the ASICs folks. So that's it. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything I wanted to cover. If not, there will have been some sort of annotations along the bottoms of the screen, right? Filling in whatever I didn't say. So I'm going to hit you with some personal thoughts and then some sizing in that order. Personally, I like these a fair amount, right? They are, I'm, I'm coming around to, to being more okay with this whole oversized midsole thing, right? Because I, I still don't like it from a visual standpoint, obviously. But the functionality in it, that is totally okay with me because it's been doing some great things. Even like with the Nova Blast 3, even though I didn't really care for the visual, like running around in them, I don't know, man, it's, you can't talk down on it. The color selection on these, they have four that I can think of. None of them are like super amazing to me. I do like that Paris one, that's pretty nice I guess. But again, like it's kind of up against some not great colors. But they should like work out pretty well for you as far as what they're made to do. I'm just hoping that they give these the color treatment that they give the other A6 models. That would be pretty nice, right? Because for $200, you would at least want to have something that you like, visually speaking. But all in all, though, everything that goes into these and just like the lightweight feel of them and all that stuff, I'm completely on board with it so far, right? I haven't worn them just yet, but a lot of people in my running groups wear these, so they, they have some pretty high standards, a lot of them too. So I'm feeling like I'll also like them from what my little exposure has been. But just taking it all in as far as what I got out of the box and all that good stuff, yeah, like these right here are looking like they're going to be a pretty fine purchase. And if they, I could see me buying another pair if they put out more colors, right? So we'll, we'll see what happens in the future though. But I do like this like lightweight thing. It's, it's crazy. Anyway, so let's talk about some sizing and then wrap this thing up. So it doesn't run even longer than it feels like it already has. Sizing wise, I'm going to to size on these. That's the thing that I do, right? Which means nine and a half for me. And it's working out just fine. And I will say this, right? They're not as slim of a build as certain other models are or whatever. They, at least not visually. But they feel kind of like it in a way. You know, so there's not a whole lot of room in there. But the one thing that I do really like about these is it almost feels like you're not wearing anything, right? Because, like, the, op the open upper, it gives you so much breathability and they're already so light. It's like you can feel it under your foot, but... It almost like felt like there was no upper on there you know it's, it's kind of hard to explain but it's a really good feeling as soon as I slipped these on because I just put them on for the first time today right other than just making sure that like the sizing was fine so you got that going on works out pretty all right walking around in these just a little bit here in the in the apartment or whatever I can't really complain about it but I can't really say how it's gonna be for running just yet but things are looking good right you do feel a nice bit of height in the back, right? That I'm not, not always a big fan of, like a little higher in the back than in the front. It's normal, it just feels like a little bit more on this particular pair. So that's a thing to consider, I guess, if that's a thing you're curious about, know that that's gonna be going on. But walking around in them, it felt really nice. And even comparing to like, say, it's not a fair comparison going against like the Kion or something, cause there's like a, was it 165 to these being 200 so 35 dollar difference not very fair but these felt better i'll just sum it up with that unless you get a pair of the the 
platinum Kayanos, which are 185 but even then you're just paying for some looks. So either way, these right here, like they're feeling really good. Super lightweight, super breathable. I could see just buying these for, well maybe not just buying them to walk around in because they're a little pricey for that. But it's a running shoe that you could just walk around in as well if you just want to go that route. So all in all, I've got some pretty good feelings about these and I'm looking forward to wearing them like once I get through boost month, which is all of September, just sticking with boost shoes. So after that, probably if I'm the first, I'll break these out or something like that. I think I have a 5k next on the fr the first weekend of October, so maybe these will be maybe these will be what I wear with that. I don't know. But all in all, good things are to be had out of these, so take that for what it's worth. One thing I didn't really mention, but it's kind of like a weird build when you look at it, because it's like the upper just slopes right down into the midsole. I don't know if you can really tell or not, but yeah, it just, it just had like a weird look when I was taking pictures earlier. But whatever, let's move on. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever is wherever you are. I am going to talk about some phone posits now. I don't know why I had to think about that. They're like right here next to me. Yeah, it's a busy day, people. So yeah, there's that. Later, people.